Today we'll be installing a Micro Air Easy Start, which these are proudly made in America and should only take about 20 minutes to install. And this will allow you to use a much smaller generator to start your AC unit. So we'll get some baseline numbers before we get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with the Honda to get our baseline numbers. This is 2200 surge and 1800 running watts. And then the EcoFlow smart generator is only 1800 running watts and really doesn't have a surge on it. It just kind of bumps up to 1900 max. So I'm also gonna see if we can run it with that. And then in the long run, what my hope is to really take the stress off of my EcoFlow Delta Pro. And then when I have extra batteries, um, then I'll be able to run the AC a little bit more uh, in the evenings just to cool off the trailer. So that's kind of the goal is to be able to run it for two or three hours to cool it off in some of the evenings when it is hotter up in the mountains and such because AC units take a lot of power. And so in order to run it for hours on end, you need a lot of solar and a lot of batteries. Okay, whenever you run your Hondas or your generators and you're gonna run EC units, you wanna make sure that the unit is not in eco. You wanna make sure that, you know, the eco is off. This way it has max starting voltage and amperage and engine RPM to start up the AC units. And then once you have that started, then you can go back and, and basically, you know, turn it on eco to help save a little bit of fuel. We are right now using about 0.7 amps. And so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on to fan low. Now there we go. And if you are able to do this, this is how you wanna turn on your AC unit. Kick on the fan first, then go over to the AC low. And if you want, then you can turn it on high and we're gonna watch how many amps this goes up to. Just starting uh, my AC unit, which this one up here, this is a 15K AC unit. So it's, it's the large one. It's not an energy efficient type. It's a Coleman Mach series. So it uses a little bit more than a couple of the other uh, 15K AC units that I had. So here we go. Now we're gonna go to auto. Oops, there we go. Watch the amperage going up. Still going. Oh, that was not very much. Okay, so now EcoFlow Smart Gen is set up and Eco is off. And so it's just on performance mode and AC is on. All right, so fan is off. We'll go ahead and turn that on. And there's fan on low. Now, honestly, I don't think this thing stands a chance because it's not designed for this, but it'd be interesting to see what happens after. And you can see the little spike in the graft right there. Okay, here we go. So now jam over to AC Cool A and see what happens. I assume it'll freak out. And there it goes. So no dice. Definitely too much power for this. So confirm, turn all this off. All right, so now Delta Pro time, go ahead and turn on the AC. And you know what's actually cool about this, and I've done it before just to test it, just to really see how powerful this is. I've had this thing start both of my AC units, one 15K and also one 13.5. Now when it's really hot out, then it sometimes won't do it, but I've only done it about three, four times just for kind of testing purposes. And it's impressive how powerful this really is. Okay, again, same test. So, switch this on, go to fan. And that'll be our Delta Pro kicking on some power. And you can see it says about 304 watts. Uh, kicking out right there right now. Um, I wish it had the graft. It used to have a graft before, and they updated the app to a couple different settings. And I honestly don't know um, if that setting is even around anymore because I can't really see it. You go here... And it just shows you this, but it doesn't show you, well, you know, the graph that it used to have. But anyway, move on. So, okay, 305 watts right now. And kick over to, you see, there it goes. I mean, you do see this dip right here. And then we'll see what happens. Boom, right up. And away it went. So, pretty easy for Delta Pro to handle one of these, no problem. Even without a soft start. But it does put a decent amount of strain 
on the Delta Pro. So that's what I'm trying to relieve really is that strain from ACs kicking on and off all the time. And for fun, let's just turn on this one. I <laughs> definitely didn't like that. It shut off right away. So, um, yeah, try to go straight forward, but definitely didn't do it. So we'll see what happens because I am installing a soft start in both of these. So now when you are installing these micro air soft starts, I highly suggest going to the company and asking them for the correct connector kit. It'll just save you a lot of time. It's only about, I think it's like $40 more to have this all prepped, but time is money and frustration that you don't get from installing these is definitely worth it. It's actually not too hard without the pre-connectors on it and stuff, but if you're a little bit more new to electrical work, I highly suggest just getting it pre-wired and then it's virtually plug and play. Okay, we have to remove the AC cover, four bolts comes right off. Okay, so I have a Coleman Mock series, and again, you want to tell the company which one you had or have, and then we're just going to take off this little side panel right there, and that'll get us started. Okay, so the instructions will also come with a little QR code so you can scan it, and this will take you to other instructions which then that will take you to the one that has your designated model on it. So you'll link that up to your phone. Then you can just go to the one that um, is basically, you know, your unit and then follow the instructions. Okay, so we will need to remove this putty because this is going to be where it's going to come through. So we're going to stick our easy start right here, run the wires through, connect them up, and then uh, <laughs> we're going to be done in no time. Okay, wires are ran through, uh, super easy, just the putties right there, and they just come through on this side right here, so easy enough, um, and this was just big enough too, uh, to where I had enough room, so. Okay, so now that we got the instructions up, I've already gone through just a couple things real quick to, you know, uh, kind of pre-read, and so the first thing we're going to do is this white wire that's on top of our run capacitor right here. This one's going to come off, so we'll pull this off like so. And this one gets spliced to the brown wire from our Easy Start module. And you see how it has this pre-wired connector? Well, that wired connector will just go on to that one right there super easy right so that's one wire eliminated and now our white wire from our easy start is going to take the place of where this white wire was so it's just going to go right back on top of the start capacitor or this run capacitor sorry all right now you see white wire is back where the existing one was i did have to kind of knock down a little bit of this sheath or this plastic kind of uh, protector area because the yellow cap is a little bit big but now we have to take our orange wire because we already got rid of white on white and the brown wire is attached to the original. Now this orange wire, this one here is going to go right where the red group is. So we're just going to take this one and plug it into this grouping area right here next to it. And that takes care of another wire. And look at that, only one wire left. Okay, and now our black wire is going to go and connect to all three of these so we'll need to make just a, uh, a joining splice with these so we'll cut these out of the connector and then put all three of these together and they do give you some wago clips so all three of these can join and that'll make it real easy and there we go nice and simple so that is basically done um I'm going to wrap this because I don't want to tap in anything. So we'll just put a little bit of electrical tape on that or either we can just zip tie these together actually just to keep them in place. So we'll do a little wire cleanup real quick. And there we go. That area is finished there. So all we have to do is put our little putty back on here, seal this off. And then we'll uh, do a little wipe, alcohol wipe, and just uh, stick that on there because they do give you a sheet of double-sided sticky tape. And we'll just stick it right there. Thank you. 
All right, and we're all done. So I have it mounted upside down. It really doesn't matter just because of the wiring. It was a little bit better to go that way. And this one is the Bluetooth model, and they do make these also for your home AC units as well. So you can look into purchasing one of these for the home AC. That way you can run a smaller generator in times where the power might be out and you need to be able to run uh, your AC units. So I have to do that one real quick, which that one will only take a few seconds and it's the same thing, so I won't be recording it. And then we can go back down and see uh, how this works. We gotta get the Bluetooth app uh, loaded up and we have to do a few cycles to get this program basically. It'll, it'll start off with a higher amperage and then it'll start ramping down. It's kind of a learning process it has to do. Now you should use shore power, but I'll explain that at the end of the video. Okay, so I'm using the Honda generator to do the learning on this. And just to show you, this is our first. I'll even throw this up on the screen, might make it a little easier. And I actually forgot to show you the little app thing. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and run test number two, drop it down. Okay, test number two with the Honda generator. That's gonna kick that up. And now we'll go to cool. Go ahead and turn this on. This way so you guys can see it. Look at that, two starts. Now down to 14.4, a lot better. Okay, so that's now with a total of five starts and it's about 14.5 and 15.5 is what I got for our peak amps. All right, and for fun, we'll see if the EcoFlow can, can do it. Kinda doubt it will, but you know, what else do we have to do today? So, okay, fan is on, and let's just see what happens. See uh, 246 watts there, so let's go ahead and kick this to cool. I'm assuming it's gonna freak out. There we go. Oh yeah, there it went. Okay, so yeah, I didn't think it would work, so back to the Delta Pro. Okay, Delta Pro time, so see how it does. Okay, on to low, fan low. Should see that kick on there. And we'll go ahead and go to cool. And let's turn on our easy start or at least the app function. I can already hear it running. And yeah, you can see there 1.53. Let's try that front AC unit. It should be able to handle that kind of a jolt. So take this on low first, which I can do two clicks on low. And then that'll be high fan here in a second. And we are at, oh, about 1900 watts. And let's go to low cool. And low cool. That should kick on here any second. One nine should see about oh 20. Yep, 25. No problem there. 27. Now the Micro Air Easy Starts were easy to install, especially with the little wiring kit that's already on it. And the second one only took me about 15 minutes because I didn't have to move the camera around. Now the price difference really is actually about $40 give or take more for the Bluetooth model and the wiring kit seems like it's actually free and you just click on that saying you need a wiring kit or it just comes with it. And when you are doing the learning starts, you want to use shore power. That is a preferred method because that way the power is consistent and you're not dealing with variables of using a generator. Using a generator, there could be a lot of variables between the users out there. You could be at 4,000 feet of elevation, maybe 5,000 feet versus I'm only at 550 and I know my generator is in great running condition. I'm at optimal temperature and also elevation. So I know my generator will be nice and consistent as far as when it goes to start it so those are variables that could give you problems when setting this up which is why shore power is preferred but overall the micro air easy starts are definitely something you should consider adding as it will conserve and save the life of not only your air conditioner but your generator as well and if you're using power stations it just makes it even better and i hope this video helped you guys out make sure to leave a comment and subscribe and i hope to see you guys next time